In our previous class, we had seen how to create a custom column in the table when we create a RTF template to display the data for a BI publisher report. Our table column, that is custom table column, it was based on multiplication of the fields which we were getting from the data model query. That is unit price into item quantity. We are showing this total line amount. Now we are getting the total line amount, but what if we are having more than one line items like this? In this case, we are having more than five to six. We want to show the total of all the line amounts what we have over here. Then how to achieve the same we will learn in this class. So in order to calculate the total line amount, which is the total of all the lines over here, we have to use the concept of variables in XSLT. That is, we have to first of all create one variable saying the total amount for current TO header. So when we are entering before this table, we have to create one variable called as total amount. Then when we iterate one by one over each of the line amounts, then we have to add this line amount to the total amount which we created at the beginning. Then at the end, we have to get the count after it iterates over all the table column. Then again, when it goes for the next table, that is for the next PO, then it has to again reset to zero. Then again, calculate all the line amounts assigned to the total amount and display over here the total. So we'll see how to achieve the same in this class. So before we go ahead and learn the concepts, in order to create a variable, there is a function called as set variable. That is, we, this is the syntax. First, we have to tell dollar this one and then the variable name. In our case, it will be total amount. Then we have to assign the value. For initializing, we can tell zero. And later, when we add the details, then we have to set something like this. There is an example provided by Oracle. So, get variable is used in order to get the data from the variable. This is for setting. And if you want to display, then we have to use the get variable. So, you can have a look at this documentation for more details. So, let me head over to my RTF template, switch over to the BI Publisher option over here, that is our add-in. I will create one record or the row over here, that is below, insert row below. I will tell, first of all, this is the total amount, which is the total of all the items we will be showing over here. I have to create one variable at the beginning of each PO. Let me go over to the advanced. So first step is we have to create a total amount variable. So this is the syntax we saw just now. That is set variable and this is the syntax that is dollar nothing we have to change. This is the name of our variable that is total line amount and we are setting it to zero. It is nothing but we are initializing or declaring a variable. So let me just put over here after for each that is g1 for each. Click on OK. Then over here when it end the loop for each line item that is over here, let me just double click. So before it ends, what we will do is we will assign the data. That is, I will tell we how to set this line amount variable with item unit price into item quantity. We are creating one more variable called as line amount. So that line amount we will take and add to this total line amount which we created over here. This is the second step. What I am doing is, I am putting over here or initializing one variable that is line amount which is based on our calculation that is item unit price and the item quantity. Once I do that, next step is I will populate this line amount over here. So to the total line amount which we initialized at the beginning of the for each loop for G1. So what I am doing is before initializing what I am telling first get me the previous total line amount and then add what I calculated over here, the line amount, which means suppose in this case wherein we are having multiple PO lines, then first we will assign or initialize the total line amount variable to zero. Then at the each iteration over here, what we are doing is we are creating one variable or setting the variable called as line amount, which is having current data that is item price into item quantity. Then we are adding that to the total line amount which we created earlier. When it comes to next, what it does is it gets the previous value in our total line amount. Then it adds that is first it gets the total previous amount plus if you see there is an addition over here. Then it adds what is the current line amount. So this is what it does. Let me just copy this from here and paste it over here. We'll call on OK. 
next we have to display over here the total line amount let me just copy this and paste it over here and double click the so display i will tell this is the total amount go to the advanced instead of item quantity we will show the value what is available in total line amount first we will initialize then we have to get using the get variable and i will write it over here click on ok click on save now let me just click on this pdf then here we are seeing the total line amount which is nothing but total line amount of the table now let's see if it when it is having more than one line here in this case it is having more than one line so it is calculating all the line amounts and it is showing the total line amount so every time it is resetting before showing this form that is the table or po header then it is again initializing total amount calculating the line amount adding to total amount and it is displaying over here so we can further style this like here we can remove these columns we can tell this as no borders over here and for this we will tell all borders all borders and even for this one all borders let me name this as all borders now let me just again click on this pdf yeah now it looks something good now what we will do is we have displayed the total amount we will add the total amount in words now total amount in words so there is a function available in order to display the total amount that is to check number wherein we have to just provide the amount and the currency so our amount will be available over here total line amount we are just getting the data using the get variable let me just copy this and let me paste over here before that let me copy one of the fields i will tell this as total amount words switch over to the advanced and here let me just copy this and paste it click on ok then click on save and click on pdf here we are getting total amount in words 258 and if there is any decimal it will show in a decimal number over here now let's create a vip report for this go to the data model click on create report select use report editor click on finish let me name this report click on ok now let me just upload my rtf template use the rtf file that's over here click on open let me name this as rtf template and type is rtf template locale is english united states click on upload then click on view as a list make us default format as pdf and click on view report now it will view the report based on our rtf template here if you see we are getting the details of purchase order for each purchase that is header information line information total amount total line amount and amount in words so like this we can create a rtf template to show the master detail data in a very user friendly manner